What's up, YouTube? Dr. Zamunu here. Today I will be teaching you the coolest way to remember the signs of trochlear nerve palsy. Without further ado, let's jump straight into it. The trochlear nerve is the fourth cranial nerve. It is the smallest cranial nerve and it is the only cranial nerve to image from the posterior aspect of the brainstem. From there, it goes all the way to the eye to supply the superior oblique muscle. So each nucleus is located in the periaqueductal gray matter of the midbrain. From there, fibers emerge in the posterior aspect of the brainstem and then make their way anteriorly to pierce the dura at the margin of the tentorium cerebellum and then make their way anteriorly along the lateral wall of the cavernous sinus to reach the orbit via the superior orbital fissure. There, it innervates the eye. The superior oblique muscle of the eye okay now let's go into the signs so there are several words which i use to help me remember the signs which i think it will, you will find it very useful to you as well and they are double down in can't go down when in so double down means the diplopia when the patient is looking down and in the afficate eye tends inward or medially and can't go down and went in it simply means that the patient is unable to look down when their eye is adapted that's it so these are the signs let's revise them double down which means diplopia when looking down in which means which means the affected eye tends inward or medially and the last one is can't go down and went in it basically means the patient is unable to look down when his eyes are adapted that's it that's all i hope you will remember the signs use them in a clinical practice bye for now